nothing can rain on their parade. Meghan Markle dons $575 Karen Walker blazer, $219 Wellington boots and earrings from Jacinda Ardern as she and Prince Harry visit Auckland. With the penultimate day of the royal tour underway, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle cut casual figures as they arrived to dedicate a 20-hectare area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy in Auckland. The Duchess of Sussex donned a $575, GBP £317, blazer by New Zealand designer, Karen Walker, which she paired with J. Crew toothpick jeans and $219, GBP £120, Wellington boots by Muck. Meghan accessorized her look with baranga earrings, which were a present from the New Zealand president, Jacinda Ardern, and the swirl tattoo diamond pendant. She wore her hair in a ponytail and held an umbrella for Prince Harry while they stood in the Auckland drain. The J. Crew website describes the $123, GBP 67 pounds, toothpick jeans as coming with an easy pull on waistband, making them ideally suited to the newly pregnant Duchess. Meanwhile, the Karen Walker Fathom blazer is very much true to Meghan's style, as it blends masculine elements with a cropped feminine fit. Meghan also wore a scoop neck t-shirt in black by Lavender Hill clothing. While in Auckland, the Duke and Duchess are unveiling a plaque on the city's north shore recognizing the dedication to the QCC, which conserves indigenous forests for future generations. They also enjoyed planting native trees and throwing gumboots with local schoolchildren. Later in the afternoon, the royal couple will have the opportunity to meet the people of Auckland on the Viaduct Harbour before attending a reception hosted by Emsonern at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Despite dreary and rainy weather conditions, Prince Harry and Meghan were all smiles, with Meghan even holding an umbrella for herself and her husband once again. My wife and I are delighted to be here at the opening of this covenant, which will form part of the Queen's Canopy Network, Prince Harry said. Meghan reportedly won the gumboot throwing competition with her Wellington boot landing a good meter in front of Prince Harry's. The Duke also looked as though he was dressed for a day at Balmoral, wearing coordinating boots and a long overcoat. The final day of their Royal Highnesses tour will take place in Rotorua on Wednesday. The Duke and Duchess will head to Rainbow Springs to learn more about the center's Kiwi breeding program. Later that afternoon, Meghan and Harry will head into the city for the chance to meet members of the public gathered there. The royal couple then heads back to London. New Zealand is the fourth country the royal couple have visited on their mammoth 16-day tour following visits to Australia, Fiji, and Tonga.